Hey everybody, welcome back. Carrie here. Hope you're all doing well. I am working on a 9 by 12 I put a white base down. I'm going to kind of do like I did in a couple videos ago and do a multi tree ring, only we might wreck it. So we shall see. I've got all kinds of bright, crazy colors. I've got one cup that has a leaf green and I believe it was uh, it was a light green I don't remember the name of the color um, and then one that has kind of like a magenta color with neon pink and then one that has neon yellow with kind of like a periwinkle color and Viridian orange and a cup of white. So let's get started. Like I said, I did put a white base down already. And at the end of this video, I'll show you the dried results from the last couple paintings. If you hear any noise in the background, that's my cat trying to get out to the garage because I'm out here and they're not happy that they're not with me, so they want to come out and play too. Okay, and then some of the, oh, some of the white. And then we'll do some of the green. a little bit more of the lighter color. So let's throw that in there. Okay. We will do a little bit of white in each spot again. funky color combination but I'm going for bright and funky lately okay um, let me grab some more white excuse my arm Let me thin it out a little bit and then we'll continue on.
Okay, we're gonna go back to the yellow and just put a little bit. if we have enough yellow for all of them so we'll do different colors on each one This one here will add more of the pink. It will probably get pushed off to the side anyway, so okay. Now shall we wreck it or not? Why not? What's it gonna hurt? give it a torch and then we will move it around and see what we got. Get that out of the way. Very pink. Sorry if I shook the camera. It's very pink and I don't like where the orange and the blue are touching each other. But we'll see. I think I'm gonna mess with it a little bit. No, I think I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to give it a torch. Maybe bring it back this way just a tiny bit. I don't 
like this one corner at all. But I'm I don't like the color pink. I mean, <laughs> I don't dislike it, but it's not one of my favorite colors. So I was hoping it'd have more of the green popping through, but we'll see how it dries. So I will bring you in for a close up after I torch it and show you the dry, dried results from the last two paintings. So I'll be right back. Okay, here is the overview. Bottom right corner. I don't, I don't like the cells. Sorry about the shadow. I don't like the cells and all the pink, but I should not have used the blue and orange together. Lesson learned, bottom left corner. Top left corner. Top right corner. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll be right back with the dried results from the other two paintings. Okay, here is the first one. That was the 10 by 20. It definitely dried darker and kept developing crazy cells. Which I like the cells in there. I think they look cool. Um, I might resin this one just to help brighten it up. But otherwise, I like it. And then here was the one. The red cells just kept going and going and took over. Again, sorry about the lighting. And let me know what you think of those two. Hope everybody has a great night. Thanks so much for watching.